So the name of this reading is stress testing. Can you tell me what is your understanding of this concept? What do you understand by stress testing? So the way you can think of stress testing or in fact to go in a sequence. First, we can do something called as sensitivity analysis. Then there is also a concept of scenario analysis. And then we can also or maybe we can completely understand the concept of stress testing. Let us understand what is sensitivity analysis first. Let us say we have a portfolio which is made of equity 70% debt 30%. Now out of this 70% equity about half of it that means half of half 70% of equity is invested into foreign stocks and remaining half is invested into domestic stocks. Now what you want to understand is that what if the foreign currency in which you have invested your foreign currency in which you have invested equity what if that foreign currency depreciates substantially. So the meaning of sensitivity analysis is that if that foreign currency depreciates so if forex depreciates by what percentage it will have impact on the entire portfolio that means you would try to understand the impact of one particular component at a time on the entire portfolio or if the credit spread in the market increases then by what percentage the return of the portfolios will change. So the idea of sensitivity analysis is testing one item at a time. Are we clear on this? As against this in a scenario analysis you try to create different scenarios right. So typically we create a best case scenario, a base case scenario and a worst case scenario. But from a risk management perspective you are more focused on the worst case scenario. So what does worst case scenario mean? It means that the forex depreciated, value of equity depreciated because of some effect in the domestic market, simultaneously credit spread also increased and therefore value of the bonds depreciated. So in the worst case scenario every item you would see from a negative perspective right? and then you see that by how much the value of portfolio will reduce. In case of stress testing which is in a way a type of scenario analysis your focus is largely on extreme extreme left tail events right. So in a way stress testing is nothing but a worst case scenario analysis where you try to see that what if there is a drastic uh, change in the credit spreads and overnight interest rates increase by 4 percent or what if we have a scenario similar to Russian debt default that is happening again then what will happen to the capital of or what will happen to value of portfolio or what will happen to the capital of bank that we call as stress testing. Any questions you would like to ask here? First learning outcome would be purposes of uh, stress testing and the process. Then what is event driven? What is portfolio driven? Then one variable sensitivity test, drawback to scenarios, unidimensional multidimensional scenarios, approaches to multidimensional scenarios, sensitivity analysis, stress testing model parameters, results of stress test used to improve risk analysis and risk management systems. Okay, So the first learning outcome. In this we have to discuss what is the purpose of the stress testing and what is the process through which this stress testing scenario should be implemented. Stress testing focuses on infrequent but large scale events that occur in the left tail of the return distribution. Can you tell me why frequently there is a reference uh, for left tail? And which, which left tail are we really referring about here? 
yeah so you're essentially referring to the tail left tail on a normal distribution i mean of course but with an assumption that there is a possibility that we might have a leptocurtic we might have a leptocurtic and a left skewed event leptocurtic left skewed event okay so something of this nature which means let us say you have a portfolio and every year you have been posting returns of 10 10 11% and then one fine year suddenly your portfolio returns are minus 70% right which means you have a large event which is on the left hand side of your mean and it is substantially higher in the magnitude now value at risk is based on normal market condition because it inherently assumes normal distribution and it cannot accommodate these left hand events so what normal distribution will tell you is that there is a 1% chance that your losses in a month just an example monthly var so there is a 1% chance that your losses in a month's time will exceed X Y Z amount. Let's say ten thousand dollars. Hypothetical scenario. This is what VAR will tell you. But what VAR will not tell you is the important word for us to focus here is the word exceed. So what value at risk will not tell you when they say exceed ten thousand. So they do not tell us how much. You know. So after ten thousand, it could be fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. It could also be one hundred thousand or five hundred thousand. what the purpose of stress testing is to try to focus how much would be the magnitude of those losses are we together on this and then there's an extremely important sentence here that stress testing should be a complement not substitute to var analysis from your exam perspective i would recommend writing this sentence it would come in handy when you revise stress testing should be a complement not substitute to var analysis should we go it next learning outcome event driven and portfolio driven scenarios okay so it's kind of really easy to uh, understand what this concept is let us say you have a portfolio and this portfolio is made of Double A rated, A rated, triple B rated bonds. Okay. Now, a portfolio-driven scenario would be: What if, what if one of the issuer, what if one of the issuer in which you have a large holding has a credit rating downgrade? then what would be the impact on your portfolio this would be a portfolio driven scenario are you following this or you can maybe consider something like uh, what if the interest rate in the market increase or decrease then what would be the impact on portfolio as against this uh, even driven scenario would be what if on a global basis there is a event similar to let us say uh, russian debt default or what if we again see a event similar to black monday or a black tuesday right black black monday in western markets black tuesday on australia new zealand side so what if there is a event similar to this then what would be the impact on portfolio so these would be event driven scenarios and these would be portfolio driven scenarios are you fine here so another way of thinking of them is that in case of uh, portfolio driven you are looking at it things from more from a micro perspective just what what are the variables which might affect your portfolio in event driven you are looking at scenarios more from a macro perspective so for an event driven scenario scenario is generated from events that would likely cause movement in relevant risk factors for a portfolio driven scenario risk vulnerability of portfolio is first identified and is then translated into adverse risk factor movements